Hi guys, it's Erin the Jackie Painter, and today we're going to paint this monkey in black and white. If you enjoy painting this with me, feel free to click the thumbs up. You can also subscribe to my channel and click the bell to be notified when I add new videos. Now let's get tacky. The colors for this painting today are very simple. It's just black and white. You can use any black and any white that you have. I'm going to be using Liquitex Basics acrylic paint. As always, there's a traceable on my webpage, which is in the description below, and you can use this as a coloring page also. As for the brushes I'm going to be using today, I'm going to be using a medium-sized bright brush, a smaller bright brush, a detail brush, and a sea sponge, just to help us get the texture on the skin. You can use any brushes that you want. All right, let's move him aside because we're going to draw him in. To draw him in, I'm going to use watercolor pencils. These are water soluble pencils. That means they'll mix right in with the paint when we paint over them. You wouldn't want to use just a regular pencil because then the lead will show through and we don't really want that. So I've already got him drawn in, but I'm going to show you how I did it because it's fairly simple and I think you can do it. So we'll start with the basic outline of this shape right here. Don't be afraid to try to draw him in. Even if you mess up, you can just paint over it. There's the outline of his head. There's his mouth. His nostrils. Now for his eyes, I drew a really light line across like this, so I would know that they would line up. His eyes are very similar to ours. They have a lid and a similar shape. brows. That's it. Now he's ready to be painted in. The first thing we're going to paint in is his face. So we're going to use a dark gray color. So I have my paint here on my palette. Got my brush. I'm going to dip it in the water. Get ready to go. Dip it in. Wipe it off on the rag. And now we're ready. So we're going to take pretty much equal parts black and white, a little bit lighter than that. There we go. Load it up on the brush and now just paint in his entire face. Use whatever size brush you need to feel comfortable painting. I know it might look black on the camera, but it's a dark gray color. We're saving our darkest black for the background part here. Now's the time where you breathe and relax and try to have fun. Grab more paint when you need it. Dip your brush in water if the paint isn't gliding well. And if I'm painting too fast, feel free to pause. If I'm painting too slow, fast forward. Do whatever you need to do to be successful in painting this with me. I think I need to make some more of that color, so I'm just taking black and white, mixing them. And 
remember, this is our underpainting. So it's not going to be perfect. We just need to get some color on the canvas. We're going to put more layers on top of this. Remember, acrylic painting is all about the layers. So it's going to go through the ugly stage. But don't be scared off. The more layers we do, the better he'll look. It was fun to sort of watch him come to life. Once we do the eyes, he'll really come to life. They're my favorite part. I'm just having fun painting them in. Remember, if you're using different paints, he's not going to look exactly the same as mine, and that's fine. He's yours. The one you're painting is yours. He's going to look like yours. Don't be worried if he doesn't look exactly like mine. I also wanted to mention I'm painting on a 6x8 canvas sheet from Paramount. These I find are cheaper and they're easier to store than say the stretch canvas board. You could really paint this monkey any color that you wanted. I'm just doing black and white because that's what my reference photo was. Again. Now I'm going to rinse off my brush really well. You don't want to let your brushes sit in the water like this while you continue to paint. Rinse it off. And wipe it on your rag and then set it aside to wash better when you're all done. Now before we do our next sponge layer, we're going to want this layer to be completely dry so that we can paint on top of it. For this next part, I'm going to be using a sea sponge. I bought this in a pack for like five bucks on Amazon. Um, you can use a regular kitchen sponge if you want. It's just to get some added texture on his skin. So to get this ready, we're gonna dip it in our water and then wring it off really well. Now we're gonna take and make a light gray color to go on top of our dark gray. So just a little bit of black. Make sure to swirl it, swirl it, swirl it. And here's some more white. So this is our lighter gray color. If you're not sure about the color, you can go ahead and try it. And if it's not what you want, paint right over it. Okay, make sure this is dry. It's a little tacky, but that's all right. Make sure you don't have any globs of color on your sponge, or else you'll get globs of color on his face. All right, well, I think we're ready. So just stamp it on. Don't be afraid to go outside the lines because we're going to be painting that in black anyway. simple. Now we've got to let this layer dry and then we can paint on the next layer. Make sure when you're done with your sponge you put it in the water to wait until you can clean it off. If you leave it and let the paint dry on the sponge it's going to get hard and it won't come out and then you won't be able to use it again. Alright let's get back into our bigger bright brush and paint in the black background. I'm going to dip it again, wipe it off on the rag, 
and get right into the black, just pure black color, and paint the white. This will cover up if you went outside the line, so that was perfectly fine. And take as long as you want with this. Enjoy it. Have fun painting. You're not on a time crunch here. Notice how I'm turning my brush and using the edge of it to get around the line and then using the large part to fill in. Turn your paper if you need to. And if you guys have suggestions of things you want to see me paint, feel free to leave that in the comments. Or if you have suggestions on how I can improve my teaching, I'd love to hear them. I'm always willing to learn. And remember, if you're using a bigger canvas to paint on, it's going to take more paint and it's going to take more time. So don't be discouraged by that. Also, don't be afraid to get messy going to end up with paint on your fingers. That's all right. It's acrylic paint. It just washes right off with soap and water. And that part's done. Take your brush, rinse it off really well. Don't let it sit in the water. Wipe it off on the rag and put it aside. And we're ready for our next part. All right, so now we're going to take our smaller bright brush, dip it in the water, get it ready, wipe it off, and we're going to make a lighter gray color and fill in some spots on his face that are this lighter gray. So I'm looking at my reference photo and I see he has light gray right here, right above his mouth. We're going to put some there. And where else? On his nose. It would be lighter there because light would be hitting. Also, he would have light here on his eyebrows because they would be raised up. And where else? There's some white spots under his eyes. We're still sort of just blocking in the colors, just getting a general idea of 
what colors go where. We can always tweak it and fix it if we need to. I've zoomed in on the lip here because we're going to focus on this area next. We're going to make our light gray color again. And we're going to just fill it in with this light gray color to start. Right, we're going to need to let that dry before we can put another layer on top. Okay, so while his lip is drying, I'm going to add another lighter shade on top of our already lighter shade. So we're going to make another gray color, but not as dark. So a lot more white, just a little bit of black. And if that's too light, we can come back and fix it, but we're going to try this and see how it goes. Don't be afraid to make mistakes in acrylic paint because you can always paint over it. So he's got some wrinkles under his eyes. Right there. And right here. Again, lighter on the nose. Lighter on the brow bone. Lighter right above the lip. going to sort of dry brush. I don't have a lot of paint on my brush. And I'm just dry brushing over this part just to tint it a little bit. Lighten it up. Alright, I'm going to continue dry brushing over some more part, parts of his face, right here. Right here. And we're going to blend this in, so don't worry about how it looks just yet. He's looking a little bit scary. That's alright. Remember to always keep looking at your reference photo because that's going to help you know where the colors go and what to do next. This one right here between the eyes, but not all the way because it would be dark color right here in between. bit more up here. And some more down around the mouth. Just keep playing with it until you're satisfied. Alright, now we're going to come in with some darker color. So I'm going to rinse my brush. Wipe it off on a rag, and now it's ready to go. So we're going to mix dark gray again, more black than white, and I think we're just going to dot it 
because I'm looking at my reference and I see some dark spots in a few places, so we're gonna put those in. Oh, uh, that's not quite dark enough, so I'm gonna have to add some more black to my mix. Okay, let's try that. All right, that's a little bit better. We can work with that. There's sort of be a shadow under his brow bone right here. Where the light wouldn't reach. There'd be some shadow right here. And some right here. And there's some darker spots down here. So I'm going to come back and get some more black. Make sure this is a really dark color. And I'm just going to spot it around his mouth down here. And a few spots. And up here on his forehead. This is just all adding texture, which will make him look better in the end. Now with the same dark color, we're going to put the wrinkles under his eyes and on his forehead. So go back and get some more black if you need to, add it to that dark gray color. And we're going to just add that dark color underneath his eyes in a few spots. And over here. And on his forehead. And on his nose, he's got a few here. We're also going to take this dark color right underneath his nostrils here. We'll fill in the nostril with a dark, dark black color, but right now we'll put this in. And then we'll get our even lighter gray, one step lighter, and blend that in. Now, if you want to blend those two together because they're still wet, wipe all the paint off your brush and then just work them together. And you'll see how they sort of blend into each other. Okay, now we can come back with just straight black and fill in the nostrils. Depending on what paint you're using, you might have to do more than one coat, which is perfectly fine. You can reshape them as you need to. And now I think we're ready to work on his lips some more. So the next part of his lip, I'm going to add just straight black in a few spots. So get your black on your brush. And I'm going to put it right here at the top. And at the bottom, because there would be a shadow under his lip. We're going to get our darkest gray color and 
sort of blend that shadow out at the bottom. Just put it right there. And there'd also be some on the lip. Wipe off your brush. Blend it out with a dry brush. For this one, we're just going to pull down that color again. So there'd be lines on his lip just like we have. Pull down. We'll get a light gray color. Maybe even lighter. Make the lip one shade lighter. even lighter right here in the front get mostly just white and we're going to blend that in right here put it down wipe off your brush blend it in there now it's sort of looking more 3d All right, we need to add one lighter shade to the lip. So we're gonna take just straight white, put it right here. This is really gonna make it pop. Okay, wipe off the brush, and we're gonna blend it in just by fuzzing out the sides. Lighten up our light parts even more just by taking straight white and let me zoom out. I'm gonna fix this nose a little bit. I think the nostrils got a little bit too big on us here, so we're just you know trim them with paint. Wipe off the brush for that lighter color. Up. Give you some more right here on the cheeks. And now we'll do some dark spots up here on the eyebrows. So we'll make our dark gray color. And just dot it, adding texture. Don't worry guys, I know he looks a little scary now, but once we add the eyes, he'll come to life and he'll look more friendly. So we're going to use the same dark gray color to just imply he's got more of a head going on back here, as opposed to just a face. So I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I'm going to put this dark gray color back here, just as a continuation. So he's not just a face in the darkness, but he's got a head and a body too. We'll put this color all the way around. 
And we're gonna add some fur too. Right, now we're going to work on the eyes. So first we're going to paint in this part here black. Underneath the iris a little bit. And on the other side. And on the other eye. Now I'm just showing you one way you can paint this in. If you've got a better way or a different way, go ahead and do that. This is just for fun. I'm learning just as much as you guys are. We're also going to take this dark color up underneath the eyelid because it would cast a shadow. make a dark gray color. So just add a little bit of white to the black that you already have on your brush. And paint in the iris. If you need to use a smaller brush, feel free to do that too. Whatever's going to make your painting experience easier. Now for the eyelid, we'll mix a lighter gray, so add even more white to what's already on your brush, and just paint in the lid. And that goes all the way down there. Don't hold your breath. It's tempting to want to hold your breath when you're concentrating, but try to relax. We're going to take this color underneath. Okay. Now we'll get just a little bit of more white and go back into the iris and add this light gray just on the bottom part. Curve it up. You might need a little more of that dark gray color to sort of blend it in. So I'm using the corner of my brush. I don't know if you can see. Okay. Now I'll get my detail brush. Rinse that bright brush off, wipe it, and set it aside. Don't let it sit in the water. I need my detail brush, my small, small brush. So I can do the pupil, just straight black. There in the middle. any spots that you see that need to be touched up with the black, go ahead and do that. Okay, I 
size just a little bit bigger. Okay. That's good. Now so we can really see the lid, get more black. Now we're going to put a line on our lid where the crease would be. Just up here. And bring it all the way down. off my brush, get into a light gray color, to add one more layer on the eye before our reflection. And now we'll get right into our white, rinse that off, wipe it. Straight white color. And for the reflection, we'll just do dot, dot, dot here, dot up here, so up here, and a line across the bottom. You can break up that line a little bit so it looks like it's reflecting the light. And for this side, that's here, and here, and along the bottom. Those reflections really make it come to life. Alright, just looking at my reference, I can see he needs some more dark lines in a few spots. So I'm loading up just my smaller detail brush with my dark black. And he needs some here. And here. To darken up that shadow a bit. A few fine lines in the corner of his eye. Going down this way. You can also see we need to lighten it up around the eye. So I'm making a light gray color. I'm just going to bring that right here and up here. I'm also going to take very, very light gray, almost white, and add some more highlights here on his wrinkles, where the light would be hitting. And some bright white here on his nose. And he would have some white here on his upper lip. more up here on his eyebrows. And I think all that's left to add is his hair. Now I notice here, I think I want to make his face a little bit wider right here. And that's no problem, I can fix that. I'm just going to mix up my gray color. Sort of my medium gray and just come right here and widen out his face. 
You don't have to worry about any mistakes that you think you make when you're painting because you can just fix them that easily. Just come back with a little bit darker gray. Add the shadow here. Alright, so I fixed that part. Also, I think his nose is a little too far down, so I'm going to show you guys what to do if you ever make what you consider to be a mistake on your painting. If it doesn't turn out the way that you want it, you could just paint right over it. So I'm going to take a gray color and just do this. Don't, don't freak out. Ready? nose to be higher up. There. I'm going to take my black and just come here with it. And on the other side. And then I'm going to let that dry so I can touch that up. Alright, let's do some medium gray hairs up here on his head. So I've got my larger bright brush here because it's going to give me a nice edge to do the hairs just straight up and down. So I've got it wet, wipes it off, and we'll make our dark gray color. sort of flicking the brush up. We're going to come back with another layer of light colored hair on top of this. So just start to have fun with this and relax. This tutorial is sort of been about if you do something in art that you see as a mistake, you can always go back and fix it no matter what it is. Or you can leave it as it is. As long as the end result is pleasing to you. That's all that really matters. Getting more paint on the brush. I'm just adding more little hairs. We'll come back with our detail brush to get the smaller hairs in. fuzzy. Now I've got our detail brush here. Got it wet, wiped it off. And I'm going to make not quite white, but very, very, very light gray. And we'll do that color. Put some hairs in. I'm adding water to my paint so that it flows better. You can do that with acrylic paint. That's what I love about it. So we'll add some of these light, light colored hairs down here around his mouth. Same thing, just planting the brush and then flicking it up in all directions. When you need more paint, go grab more paint. It's 
turn the canvas so it's easier for you. Alright, now up on his head I want to do some black hairs coming up. So rinse off the white, wipe it off, grab some black, add some water to it. And now we'll put some black hairs right here. Just to add some depth. Now we'll get back into our medium gray and we'll add some more fine hairs around his face. Add some water to it to increase the flow. And starting here, Just a few fine hairs in every direction. Again, if you need to pause, go ahead. You just have fun with it. If you're not having fun, then what's the point? Don't be frustrated. Just try to breathe and relax. I'm flipping the canvas now so I can reach and do the same thing on this side. This is really all about the pressure. Don't press your brush down hard or you'll get a line that's too thick. Very light pressure. More paint. all that there's left to do is fix his nose that we decided wasn't exactly how we wanted it. So I'm going to get my smaller bright brush, get it ready in the water and wipe it off. And this spot's a little dark here so I'm going to get a lighter gray and just make some dots. Just so it sort of blends in with the rest of it, we can add some more dots down here. And down here even. Just so wherever you feel like you need some. Some lighter color up here on the nose. We'll get some dark dots going, so darker gray. And just put those in too. Reshape the nostril a little bit there. Get into my black. And just shape in the nostril up again. Like I said, the great thing about acrylics is you wait for it to dry and then you paint over it if you don't like it. It's never a waste of paint. The only paint that's wasted is the paint that stays in the tube. Every time you put paint on the canvas, you're learning and practicing, so it's never wasted. 
Just adding a few more hairs of this color wherever you think you need it. You can add another layer around the outside here even. This dark gray color. It almost blends into the black, but that's just another layer here to show he has a body back here somewhere. I hope you enjoyed painting this monkey with me. I'm going to keep those mistakes in there, not adding them out, because I want to show you what happens if you make what you consider to be a mistake, which is basically just anything that you didn't intend to happen, and you didn't like the result, then you can just go back and fix it. So there's my monkey. Thank you guys for painting with me. Thanks for sticking with me through this one. Like I said, I'm I'm still learning, just like you are. I want to remind you that there's always something to look forward to, and I look forward to painting with you guys next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.